So welcome everybody. It's um, October the 19th. <laughs> I have to check. October the 19th, 2023. And the theme for this evening is really healing the heart. So uh, we've like before I started recording, we were ch chatting about the uh, timelines of you know um, ascension, and there's been some people who said that um, the light workers are going to be taking up um, on a ship. Um, that does not resonate with me actually. I like maybe some will, but I I would. If you think of it, if um, if you're taken up on a ship and then everything is going to change and you come back, then it's not very empowering. My understanding is that our body actually um, already knows how to protect ourselves um, because it's it's about the, the solar flash. So there is going to be a solar flash that is so big that it's going to actually change everything on earth it's going to um wipe out all of the um any remnants of the of the, um, the false matrix everything is going to be kind of cleaned all in one flash and that does not mean that you know we're going to things are going to look really um toxic until that we are actually in the process of doing the cleanup ourselves. So that's why when you look out in the world today, there there are, um, you know, people coming up out of the woodworks, starting anyways this year and next year we'll see more. Is that there are actually more? Uh, there are a lot of people that has actually have been working in the background to bring in technology and new ways of helping the body, healing the body, and also new ways of facilitating us to um, know ourselves better, to connect with our own consciousness and, and to really bring it online. So like every year, we're gonna have um, much more advances in that. Um, we haven't seen too much yet because we are, we're still um, shutting down the the the, the old um, energies, but the old energy is really this is is on the last breath. So that's why you can. Um, I also send you guys some um, a video that Carrie Kay mentioned that you know all the 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 different walls, uh, the different battles that people are um, kind of starting and maintaining now it's all because they want to have control of the stargates because in the old energy if you control the stargate you control the power you can shape how um, reality is going to turn out if you can control the stargates that's in the old energy in the new energy you can have control over the, a, a geography but if you're not in the right vibration nothing will happen you you control nothing. So they're they're fighting each other, killing each other for absolutely nothing. So that's that's my understanding. Because um our frequency, each one, our frequency is really our uh, it's is um that's the most important thing. That's why we are doing a lot of um uh, healing ourselves and also letting go of old programs because we are naturally high frequency beings it's just that we have so many um conditioning that is hijacking our natural high frequency so we're in the process of letting go of those old beliefs and the more we are willing to let go then we naturally just become high frequency and when we are high frequency we actually activate the the um, the 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 energies of the earth so earth and us are actually working together and 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 earth actually knows um, us by our frequency so um and i think um franco mentioned that one high frequency person can actually um influence and affect i forgot the the number i think it, it is around 10,000, 
maybe even higher. So around, so it's it's like one high frequency person can do so much more. That's why we don't need to have a hundred percent of the people awakening in order for um, more things to come online. It, it actually only takes a few of us, and um, so that's why the most your most important. I would say job. Should you should you choose to is really to let go of all the the things that are holding you back, all your limiting beliefs, all the the fear mongering programs, and all those. If you can just let go of the your 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 traumas and beliefs, then um, like don't think that you're just one person, just one person who has done, who is doing the work and has done the work of clearing themselves enough so that the, the the earth itself would know you when you walk on the ground, and um and like when the when the solar flash comes, and we have done the work, then actually our body would be able to project a um a Merkaba or energy around us that's going to protect us physically to so that we can each actually um, walk into the, 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 the new playground um, physical by ourselves. We don't we don't need a, a any a spaceship to protect us, quote unquote protect us. Mm, no, not really. We can do it ourselves. However, I don't know how many people are uh, at that stage that they would be able to do that. So in the case that there, there are people who so have um, made that commitment to, to move to 5D, but they are not there yet. And then the solar flash has to happen because the solar flash happens when it happens. Nobody knows. So maybe those people that are not quite there yet, they they may need some um, assistance. How is that assistance going to come? I don't know. Spaceship, possibly. Um. So, but um. Yeah, I I yeah I I would be actually I would not rely on a spaceship. As far as I can, I would rather um, do the cleanup myself so that I would be able to be in a position for my own DNA, my own body to be able to generate that um, energy around me to be strong enough to withstand whatever the, um, the solar flash effect may be. So that's my understanding of of why some people say that there's going to be a spaceship. <clears throat> there might be, but we don't actually need it if we do the work, so. Thank you, Vinny. It helps. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so the theme for this evening is really healing the heart. So, and um, we are actually, yeah, I... I I would um, be doing something about the physical heart. However, I think there's actually one thing that I, I that I also want to do as well is like from from myself, anyways. Um, I and also um, from learning this this the the um, the MED system. It is that uh, the the most important thing is actually our disconnection. We are disconnected from ourselves, which means we are disconnected from the light within us. We are disconnected because we each, actually each and every one of us is um, a different aspect of what some people may call God. So I'm not saying that I am God. I am an aspect of it because everyone come like we all come from one. So the the the, the name God um, 
actually refers to this oneness where from this oneness, everything else is created. So, so we are all aspect of this one. However, because we are in this body and, um, and visually and also conditioning since birth, we have, we actually, um, a lot of us thought that we are disconnected from what we call God, but actually um, this, this connection is only in our mind. It's an illusion. We've never left we have never left. We are actually all of us still one. And we are in the process of remembering that we are one. And the more we let go of the illusion of this connection, the more we can actually um, know that we are one. So that's actually part of what I really want to work with all of you is to connect back to one. And our heart is really the, I think one of the organ that is um, kind of the, the cross between the physical and the um, metaphysical. So that's why I want to do some work on healing the physical heart and also to do the, some of the reconnection. Um, how much can, can we do? I don't know. <laughs> We'll see. <clears throat> so, um, how do we begin? Okay, so the the way I would suggest is, if you all want to participate, is to actually start to access your own heart. Just think about your own heart. Um, think about your physical heart first and really just focus on that because when you focus on something you start to get into the um, all the, the, the quantum patterns that is in your own heart and there are a lot of different patterns in your heart so let's all just access that part of ourselves that let's take a couple of um, moments to just access and just feel into your heart and just have a conversation with your heart and just ask questions. You may or may not be able to hear the answer, and that's okay. It's, um, just, but just start to ask questions in your heart. Is um, is is really to ask? You know how, like, how are you doing, heart? Just say hello to your own heart. And just by saying hello, it's like you, you're just opening the door to um, access the deeper patterns in your heart. And just feel, feel the emotions. It's coming up. Um, if you feel any emotions coming up, it doesn't matter. Just allow it to come up. And if it seems to be, uh, if it starts to be overwhelming, then um, just come back up for, come back up a bit. So don't, don't get overwhelmed, just observe. Just be the observer of what's going on in your heart.
So I'm just going to mention what it is that I feel. And I So I actually feel heavy in the sense that it's um, things are kind of sluggish. It's not moving very well. So I'm just going to bring in some energy to kind of um, clear that. Okay. So I'm hearing scar tissues. There's a lot of, um, seems to be a lot of scar tissues in a heart. That's why it's um, kind of slowing down the, the flow of the natural flow of blood. So um, <clears throat> let's um, clean up some scar tissues then. So where are the scar tissues? Okay, how many patterns? Um, so in relation to scar tissues, how many patterns? Okay, 15 patterns, so tap that in. All of those. Um, and also the four diaphragms. I think I did it once with you last week. So let's do that again. So there are four diaphragms within our body that... Um, and the diaphragms actually is when the diaphragms are open and working properly, it, it encourages or it, it makes the flow of energy much better. So the first one is really um, around here. 
So if we just get that to open, and then and there's another one just between the the jaw and the neck area. And then there's one is which is our primary diaphragm that's between the heart and the liver. That's the third one. And then the last one is the pelvic floor. There's a diaphragm there. And let's open those, all of those four diaphragms up. So energy can flow better. Okay, a lot better. Okay, wonderful. How's everybody doing so far? Good, good. You feel anything? Not so much. That's okay. Can I ask a question or do we take it? Absolutely, yeah. Ask questions if you want. Uh, this diaphragms, are they real uh, or we just kind of like, is it really physically in the body like, or is it just energetic? Um, yeah, they, they are real diaphragms. Yeah. Okay, thanks. That's yeah, cool. they, they are real. That's like, it's, um, that's... Um, the you no, know, uh, the the pelvic diaphragm. That one is really what's holding up um, of the 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 womb area of the 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 intestine area. Yeah. So yeah, it, it, it they are yeah. actually there. So they are real diaphragms. They are not imaginary ones. It's just that we have never actually opened ourselves up to look at them, so okay. we, we didn't. Yeah. Really, but yeah, since I'm always so super sensitive to energy, like I feel so much heaviness around my heart and left side. Mm -hmm. Like it's not painful or anything. It's just like you know uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Um. So is it is it getting better? Do you feel it getting better or is it still heavy? Oh, still there. Yeah, still there. Okay. Yeah, I felt the uh, heaviness too. Okay, so that's just normal then. <laughs> Depends on what normal. What do you mean by normal? It's not normal, but you know, <laughs> if if we like something that persisted long enough, then it becomes normal. But uh, it is not normal. And the normal is flow is normal. I didn't That's have it before, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. You didn't have it, or you didn't notice that you have it. I didn't notice I had it. Maybe I did, but I didn't notice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think it's getting a little lighter. Yeah, um, I felt it. This is a lot more energy moving after we actually opened up the four diaphragms. So that 
that really that really helps. There are actually five according to the osteopathy. Okay, interesting. I don't know about the fifth one. I just know four. It says uh, tentorium cerebelli, tongue, thoracic outlet, diaphragm, and pelvic floor. Uh -huh. Oh, the tongue. Tongue is also, yeah. Okay. That also says seven. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, so it, so it, it, it depends on the the system, or I mean the 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 medical the healing tone. system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I'm actually beginning to feel lighter. So, so good. That is the first series. So now let's let's go. Let's move on to the emotional, physical, and um, more of the emotional, spiritual healing. Then, okay. Just imagine that you are all now stepping into a technology that actually existed way back at the um, Atlantean time. And at the Atlantean time, the They actually have have a healing um, healing bed. Not really, it's not really a bed, but it's more like a a capsule where you you lie in it, and it scans your body and starts to assist your body in regenerating any of the organs that or any of your bodily function that is not um, running too good. So just imagine yourself stepping in into this Atlantean regeneration grid matrix.
And just allow this technology to assist you, to assist your body. Allow it to scan your body. Notice wherever it is that there are any corruption in your DNA. And allow the regeneration matrix to assist your body in correcting any of those DNA that has been corrupted so that your body can go back to normal. And then also see yourself stepping inside the Pleiadian regeneration matrix as well. I see different healing technology that is from the Pleiadians. And allow these two technologies to work with your body, to assist your body. These two um, different healing modalities don't just work on you on a physical level and actually work on you on an emotional and spiritual level as well. And once again, I'm going to use myself as the um, proxy for all of you. The aim of all of these different technologies is actually to restore us from, or I should say, is to restore us back 
into our natural state, which is the state of joy, light, love. To really clean up as much of the underlying misunderstanding that we have about life. Do you remember that we are actually here to enjoy life? to live our true essence of joy, light, love. And to call in and crystalline angels from the 17th dimension to assist us in healing what we call traumas in our Akashic records. They are not real traumas. They are just traumas and within this game we call life. As we allow the quantum field to shift, and to let go of promise. We can start to clean up our own physical energy field as well. So that our body does not have to keep holding on to those patterns that no longer support us. and allow our body to freely become what it is always meant to be. Healthy. An expression of our own joy, light, love, nature.
How's everybody doing so far? Good. Good. Strong, Anish. Here's the strong. Mm -hmm. My runny nose stops. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I stopped coughing too. <laughs> In only a meditation, I was coughing, but it was the end. You're speechful. Not done yet. I'm still uh, still still ongoing. Yeah, there are layers and layers. So we're just getting rid of more of the layers. And I want to remind everybody that we are working on um, connecting connecting back to ourselves. What does that look like? What does that mean? Um, it's different for everyone, so. I can't really tell you what you're supposed to feel, but um, I would think that maybe you should get more clarity, or at least your body will get more clarity. Okay, so we're bringing in some Syrian healing technologies now. So remember to breathe, and also as you breathe, also have the intention that you are bringing up energy from the earth. So you're connecting back to the earth because the earth and ourselves is all just part of one. So say hello to Mother Earth. And allow Mother Earth to assist you in connecting back to who you truly are.
physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We are working on the nervous system now because <clears throat> our nervous system needs to be more expanded, more open for new experiences to come through us. So let's strengthen, let's strengthen our nervous systems. Restore any um, any nervous system damage to restore the healthy nervous system and also strengthen our nervous system so that we can handle more energy flowing through us to connect us back to full spectrum of who we truly are. And then once your nervous system has been strengthened, and then just be open for more light. To be channeled through your body. And to allow the light that is your true nature to shine through your body. And now your light to come out. Just like a beam of sunlight coming out from your heart, shining all around you, 360 degrees.
And within your heart, simply feel. Feel the light that is yourself, your true self. And remember that you're already home. You have never left. And that the separation is only an illusion. You have been home all along. Any thoughts of being disconnected was simply an illusion. And whenever you're ready, you can let go of that illusion and step up to remembering who you truly are, here and now. So check in again, how's everybody? Good, good. Good. How is the heaviness? Is it getting lighter now or still? Yeah, yeah, it's just into my shoulder now. So it kind of moved throughout my body, but the front shoulder is now heavy. <laughs> but I get that. That's not new. Okay. Yeah, I do feel much better now. Not saying we are hundred percent there, but you know, it's it's compared to when we first started. It feels lighter. Questions, comments. I was just wondering if um, like the sense of feeling at home when we're sort of centered on ourselves or focused on our own body, is that just because it's an unusual feeling for us because we're looking for uh, our comfort has been outside of ourselves more often? I don't quite understand your question. Like, I'm just wondering if, if, if I spent more time focused on my body and within, within myself, will it become my home as opposed to me thinking that I'm more comfortable outside of myself? <laughs> what do you, you know, think? <laughs> well, I don't know. It, it's new. It's new. It's, it's not, I, I haven't. Yes, I've meditated over the years and things like that, but they've been sort of sporadic and, and you know, um, I, I never considered a feeling of home. That's interesting. Yeah. I would suggest that you try it out, experiment, maybe take a, take a couple of days or maybe do it every other day. So one day you spent more time um, on yourself, like staying, staying within yourself. And then, then the other day is to, um, is to just do what you usually do and see which way you feel like, which one do you like better? Right. Right. So, so I can't tell you what's better for you. Yeah. You have to experiment and see what feels better for you. Right. The, the other thing I'm wondering is how, 
um, we don't really know ourselves. It was something that you sort of alluded to. How will we know ourselves when we get there? How will we really know our, our power? How will we know our, our expanse or our hugeness or our power or whatever it is that we don't know? Um, it's like building a house. You have to start somewhere. You have a plan and you lay the first um, brick. So the more you do to get to know yourself, you kind of sending a signal to, to yourself that, oh, I am, I'm willing to do the work. And then um, yourself or uh, the higher version of yourself will start to work with you. Okay. And um, yeah. That's that's what I find is you don't have to because a lot of people have lived many lifetimes not knowing who they are. But should you choose to, then just do things. That's so you ask yourself: Am I doing this because I'm supposed to? I think I'm supposed to, or because other people expect me to do. Or are you doing it simply because you want to, or you feel happy when you do it? Right. Okay. So the more you honor the, because um, when you feel happy, that that's the, that's actually one of the um, the best um, indicator. Way tell whether it is something that is innate that is you or whether it's something that is not you because okay. if, you, if you're doing something because you feel you have to or you know other people won't like it if you don't do it you know it you right. you're doing it out of duty or whatever but when you when it's something that you actually enjoy doing um it's it's, it feels different. So, yeah. You may be so, surprised. It's kind of like entering a mystery. <laughs> it is. It is. Very Thank you. So. Thank you. <laughs> I actually want to share something <laughs> about that. <clears throat> I, um, I love... I've been an, uh, like a, an avid knitter for you know, a while now. And because I, I already am a knitter, so, you know, I was thinking, ah, okay, I never really wanted to do crocheting because, you know, knit crochet, what's the difference? And then um, I think maybe just, it's just um, fairly recently I started doing cr crocheting. I started looking into it and it's it was actually um, a big difference. Somehow, like crocheting, crocheting is actually easy as far as I can tell. It just comes so naturally. And, um, and, and I've already mentioned to all of you before that I, um, when I started learning from Richard Bartlett, he, he like when I saw the, the, the modules or the mandalas that he created and um, I was thinking, oh, I want to create it, but I, I know how to do it because it's not just a mandala, it's actually a mandala that is programmed with um, healing intention. So when, when you look at it, you feel the energy moving. So it's actually a sigil. Um, and I was thinking, I want to create, I want to also create that. And, and I've been seeking ways to do that. And um, actually recently I, I 
I connected to too is that I can actually create like a physical module, not just on a on a diagram or on or on um, online. Is I can actually use crow shading to create a sigil, and that excites me. So that's following my own joy because I like I like modules and I like crow shading. And I just put those two together. And, and so I'm like, okay, I'm going to actually go and design the, the, the modules and then create it um, using crocheting. So that's a really novel idea. Um, yeah. yeah. So are you trying to create a mandala in the crochet? Yeah. Not just, not just any mandala. I want to actually create it so that yeah, whatever, like when something. I, when I put it on my body, like it actually um, is is programmed to do something on my body. Mm -hmm. And I think that would be a great thing for everyone because like if I, like some of these modules, um, the Atlantean um, Regeneration Grid, it's, it's actually a module that they have created. And when I send out that module to all of you, you feel it, the energy there. So mm -hmm. it's not just a mandala, it's, it's actually a sigil. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, it's a power, um, power object. So, so that's what I want to do is actually to create that, create the power objects just using crocheting. So well, the T is silent, you know that. What? By the way. The T is silent in crochet. Okay. Yeah. It's called crocheting or crochet. Mm -hmm. Uh so you started making something? You want to show us? No, I haven't started making something. I I am actually um um starting to find out, you know, because there are apps that actually allow me to draw the design. So I'm just looking into those. Okay. Yeah. That's neat. Very neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually have um a book on um man well not really mandalas but um granny granny squares and it's all different shapes mm. and so i've been looking at that and um learning like new new things to do so it's exciting it's a project that i've been i'm working on you didn't you didn't mention what the the picture was behind you today. Mm. It's it's a hot. <laughs> oh, okay. <it's> hot. <laughs> okay. And your top is also full of. But design. it's your work, Vinny, is it? No, 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 no. No, it seems like your work. Okay. Well, it could have been. I I can. It could have been. Paint. But um, what about your shirt? Even my shirt. Oh, yeah. okay. The top yeah, has a design. <laughs> Some building or? Mm, uh, um, I don't know. I'm I'm not sure. I had this. Oh, trying to figure long. it out. <laughs> I had this for a long time, so I I I don't pay attention to this anymore. <laughs> it looks like a scenery, like some buildings. Mm -hmm. and... Yeah, you always kind of match your bag, you know. I try to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, can tell. So how's everybody feeling now? Lighter, hopefully? Very relaxed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's relax is good. Well, that's all I have for tonight. Unless you guys have any questions. Thank you, Vini. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thank you for so... playing. <laughs> yeah.
Thank you, Vinny. This was very, very oh, helpful. helpful. Okay, good. I hope I have um, <laughs> uh, shifted some some patterns. Yeah. Thank you, Vinny. Have a good night. Thank okay, you. Okay. You're welcome, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.